morning everybody on this Wednesday January 24th I'm pretty sure it's 24th anyhow uh, I got some breakfast got some oatmeal and I am walking to my class now they told us to wear comfortable shoes I think I said this in yesterday's vlog because we're gonna walk to a museum or walk around a museum I don't know if they're gonna transport us to the museum or not but we're gonna be walking around the museum so <laughs> I have black pants, a red sweater, and blue sneakers on because, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, th I, I brought two shoes, two pairs of shoes. I brought gray um, sneakers and blue sneakers. And quite honestly, they both have benefits. Um, one, uh, the gray pair have like my insoles. I bought some insoles. Because uh, I was having problems with my one knee, and um, I bought some insoles. So those are, and I tried to get them out of there, but like they were stuck. So I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just wear the blue ones. The blue ones don't pinch my toes. So, yeah. And I messed up my makeup. I actually put on uh, foundation, which obviously my skin tone's even, but I did not put any powder or setting spray on. <laughs> totally forgot just totally slipped my mind so it's probably gonna rub off by lunchtime which you know that's great but anyhow I am getting to my training classes about 8 15 right now and somebody's gonna hit me it's nice <clears throat> anyway I will see you guys in a little while bye so we're doing a tour, not a tour, we're doing an activity in the uh, Museum of American History and right as you walk in, it's Batmobile. That's super cool. Alright, I'm going to show you guys some of this museum as I go around, but uh, yeah, I got to go do an activity, so I'll see you later. So the museum is cool. Um, I'm now trying to hunt down some lunch. It's not as easy if you don't plan ahead. Um, I'm going to the food court in the Ronald Reagan building. If you're familiar with that at all. I got a bunch of different stuff. I think I should be able to find something there. I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, yeah. But I have about 45 minutes to get back to my training center and I didn't bring like my uh, laptop or anything like I wasn't worried about checking work email or anything like that I told them if they needed me they needed to text me because I wasn't checking email today but if you haven't seen it that's the center I think we're in the center of the Ronald Reagan building um, anyway I'm gonna try to get some lunch the museum is pretty cool I, I've been in there before, but it's been a long time. Like, I was a kid the last time we uh, came to the museums in D.C. I worked here for four years, and I never went to, I never went to any museums. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to get something to eat, and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to take Metro back to the training center, just because it's actually uphill to get back to where I was. Uh, I'm down near the river right now. Not too close. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go try to find something to eat. I'll see y'all later. So it's like seven o'clock, and the reason why it took me so long to film again is because as soon as I got back to the hotel, I started searching for somewhere to eat, and I had a really weird experience with Postmates. Now this is I, I'm new to Postmates, like totally new. Anyhow, they uh, <clears throat> apparently they have surges. I did not know this. So yesterday I paid a $4 delivery charge. Today, they they wanted to charge me $7.50 for a delivery charge. And I'm like, what? So I went on to Uber Eats. And this was my first time getting Uber Eats. And it worked out really well. I had a discount code because I was a new customer, blah, blah, blah. But I got French fries and the Beyond Burger. 
which you can actually get this in the grocery store, some grocery stores. We actually can get it in Wegmans where we live, um, but that's the only grocery store we can get it in, and it's really good. Um, it's good. Okay. It is not as good as the Impossible Burger, but whereas the Impossible Burger was $15, this was $6.95. So, and it's good. And it's by this restaurant called Bolt Burgers. And now that I, now that I know where it is, um, next time I'm down in DC, I might go here again. Because it's really close to my training center. And actually right around the corner from where I'm supposed to stay next time. I'll be back again in March. And there's a, I'm staying at a different hotel in March. So when I'm at that hotel, this Bolt Burgers place is like a block away. So that's not nice, dear. Oh, you can see me? I can't see you. Okay. Well, my camera's on. We're FaceTiming. I have poor connection. Your video will zoom automatically. Oh, no, I see you. Anyhow, I just wanted to say hello. I am working on work, comp my work computer is back there somewhere, there it is. Um, so I'm working on work emails, talking to Jean, working on my computer, just living the dream. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while. It is just about 10.30 and I am tired and this guy's tired and we're ready for bed. So we're about to say goodnight. What? I never get tired. Yeah, okay. We're about to say goodnight, but I just wanted to say goodnight to you guys, or good day to you guys, whenever you're watching this. Um, what are we happy for today, hon? What am I happy for? Uh, I think today I'm happy for restaurants that offer vegan options. There you go. We don't have that very much in our area. And... I don't know what I would do if uh, we didn't have vegan options, if DC didn't have restaurants with vegan options. I mean, most of the time you can get like spaghetti with marinara sauce, yeah. which is usually meat and dairy free. Um, I have seen sometimes though that they will make a meat sauce, well, a marinara sauce. I guess it's not technically marinara sauce though if they put meat in it. But anyhow, um, I'm thankful for restaurants that have vegan options when I'm traveling. Um, luckily, I've only been traveling to the DC area as of late, so I don't haven't had to worry about that in like smaller areas or less uh, urban areas, that sort of thing. Um, I know back home it would be very difficult to find uh, vegan options. Except, I mean, if you just wanted to get, like, a plain salad. Uh, I mean, we have had some mukbangs that we had vegan food, though. Like, we had Moe's, we had Taco Bell, um, yeah. Chipotle, you know, that sort of thing. So, anyhow, and actually, there's a, there's a burger place. There's two, uh, two burger places in our area, one that sells the Beyond Burger and one that sells the Impossible Burger. So, that might be a taste test video coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah. I remember which place has the Impossible Burger, but I can't remember which place has the the Beyond Burger. Do you remember which one has the Beyond Burger? I thought it was Arugus. That's the Impossible Burger. I don't know. Uh, the, the, the Chili's was gonna have it, or no? There, there's a. I forget who picked it up. It's the chain, I thought. I think it was a chain restaurant. That's what I said. I'd say it is a chain. TGI Fridays. Uh, TGI, TGI Fridays. Fridays. Started carrying the Beyond Burger. That's it. So, anyhow, I think we're going to do that either as a taste test or maybe a mukbang. Maybe we'll just do a mukbang. I don't know. A mukbang. Um, anyhow, I do hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day of training. 
Uh, I'm not actually heading home until Friday, but I will still be in this area tomorrow for my training class. And then Friday, I'll probably get up Friday morning, work on my computer, and then uh, head home around 9 or 10 o'clock after like the morning rush hour is over. So, but I can't wait to see this guy. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.